The midline lift is derived from what the professionals are doing on uh, 100 footers like Comanche, the big 70 foot trimarans, boats that are very hard to maneuver at slow speed, either under sail or under power. Also ones with side hulls like a trimaran or chines like Comanche that if an MOB goes underneath the boat, they get slammed by the bottom because of the chine. A lot of today's modern cruising boats have chines, for example. And um, the other thing with the midline lift is that if you're short-handed and uh, let's say there's only two of you or three of you on board or four of you, but you lose one person to, as an MOB, uh, you've got a lot of work to do on the boat to get your sails down, the motor on and get back to the MOB. And if you're double-handed, you have nobody to steer and you don't want the boat hitting the MOB. So even coming 10 or 15 feet away might be difficult, especially if there's any waves. The midline lift allows you to tow the life sling in a normal way. When the MOB grabs it, you then turn the boat sideways, 90 degrees to the MOB, and you leave the life sling line tied to the stern where it normally should be. And you take a spinning hydraulic back to the stern, you clip it onto the life sling rope and you hoist up. And uh, you'll, they've got, uh, we have the MOB dummy at the end of the life sling line, just like uh, they'd have an MOB on it. They've clipped the spinnaker hired onto the uh, rope and you can see they're hoisting it up. Uh, they're also turning the boat 90 degrees. So it comes in. And when you do this, it comes in a beam right to the middle of the boat. The MOB doesn't spend any time alongside the boat where they can get hit against the side or slide under a chine or the boat can get dropped down on them in a wave.